Hello and welcome back to another Affinity Designer iPad tutorial for sewing. Today I'm going to be selecting moving, mirroring, and unfolding pattern pieces. I have my pattern pieces pulled up here and I have the select arrow. You'll notice I'm using this pen. You can use an Apple Pencil or this is just a generic brand. I'll link below to the one I use. I found it, it works just well for most pattern alterations that I'm using for sewing. Uh, if you would like to purchase that one. Just as a reminder, I will be using a lot of the gesture shortcuts that I used in my previous video. If you haven't watched the 30 plus gestures for Affinity Designer iPad, make sure you watch that so you have an understanding of these gestures. The select tool is right here. It is an arrow and it's going to allow you to select and move objects on your canvas. These are a little bit close together, so I'm going to go ahead and just select them and move them apart. If you notice that an entire powder piece does not come when you select it, feel free to draw a rectangle over it, select all, swipe down, and you can group, or in this case, I only have ungroup highlighted because it's already grouped all together, but you can group it or ungroup it there. Now that I have my pattern pieces separated, I have a little bit more room to work with. This is my back, sorry, this is my back pattern piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my front pattern piece over a little bit more. And I'm going to pretend that I would like to cut this as mirrored pieces. So a left and a right image. A quick way to duplicate an object is just by selecting it, hold two fingers down and drag. And you can see it duplicated it right there. So that's a quick way to duplicate. And then I can mirror it by using these triangles up here. If you click on there, you can flip horizontal, vertical, or rotate. I'm going to flip this horizontal. And now you can see I have two mirrored images, a left and a right. But let's look at the front and say it had a fold line. It wanted you to cut on the fold but you don't want to cut on the fold. You want to cut it flat or opened out. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to grab that piece and let's go ahead and move down here. Oh, I, uns I resized it a little bit and I didn't want to do that. So let's come on down and I'm going to zoom in over here. And these lines maybe are a little bit hard for you to see. If you want to thicken them, come and grab your stroke and we can increase that stroke color. For projecting, I usually like to keep it between three and six points. And for pattern alterations, you may want to keep it towards the low end so you can get as accurate as possible. Just for view purposes today, I'm gonna to go ahead and make it a little bit thicker just for you. Okay, now I have my pattern piece that's gonna be cut on the center fold here, but I wanna cut it flat or opened out. I could use my two finger hold and drag it out if I would like, but I'm gonna show you a, another way to duplicate that pattern piece as well. We're gonna go ahead and select it, three finger swipe down and duplicate. That piece is now duplicated. I'm going to leave it right where it's at and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna leave it there and I'm going to go ahead and drag to move it and I'm gonna hold a one finger down so it goes in a straight line. And I wanna line up that center fold. Now you see I have a green line showing me that it's lined up right with the edge of the pattern. That's called snapping. If you don't have the green and red lines showing up, snapping can be found here at the top. That is a little magnet and you can just turn it on or off by selecting it. If I have it turned off, I'm not going to get those alignment handles. You can see they're not there, which I kind of like them when I'm doing mirrored images. So you can always turn that on and you will get those alignment handles. There they are again. And the green tells me right when it's on there. Pretty nifty tool for when you're mirroring it. You can also zoom in to make sure that you are right on the center, it's all together. Don't forget, once you have unfolded them and 
mirrored them. If you want them together, in this case, I want it to stay together. Let's go ahead and make sure it's grouped together. We talked about a few ways to do that. One is the quick menu. One way you can select them all just by grabbing them all. You can also see that I have those two layers selected and I can group those two layers by swiping them together. And now they're grouped together in one group. They're no longer separate. Even if I click off and click back on, they're grouped together still. And that's quickly how to select, move, mirror, and unfold pattern pieces in Affinity Designer iPad. Thank you for joining me today.